We're decentralized. We're, what the fuck does decentralization mean? I asked this question. We've written 240 papers, academic papers in my company, over 10,000 citations. So we said, you know, we should write an academic paper. We thought, oh, you know, that'd be really easy. We'll just like have a paper in two months. And everything. It took like six years. And then we created a standards group at uh, University of Edinburgh. We created something called the Decentralization, uh, the Edinburgh Decentralization Index. And it turns out there's eight different lenses you could look at for decentralization, everything from the token distribution to the consensus algorithm to the, how the code is written, all this stuff. And it's a trade-off matrix. It's not like one number that you can get to and say, this is the only number that matters. It's more like, what do you value? Do you value operational resilience or do you value a large distribution of the money? You can have a fully decentralized system, but one guy owns all the tokens. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really make sense, right? Okay, you have a system where a lot of people own all the tokens, but only three people run that ledger and it's federated forever and you can't get rid of them doesn't really make any sense. So it seems like there's some combination of these things. So we just started measuring these things a few years ago. The next step is to take that model to NIST and other standards bodies and say, how do you integrate this and then start creating some infrastructure so then the government can use this tool to measure this from a qualitative and quantitative way when they're assessing technology. It's the same for a voting system.